we believe that Espresso is the missing piece that allows uh, blockchains to fulfill their true promise. Any financial platform can effortlessly become a high performance chain while all chains can communicate securely and in real time. I mean, what this basically means is, is, is it really requires a, a like switch in, in mindset and how we've think, thought about blockchains and and that sort of uh, and roll ups um, specifically. So when we say like any financial platform can effortlessly become a high performance chain, what what that really means is that, you know, when you see, you know, um, Stripe, you know, entering the the crypto arena or, you know, the, the news yesterday about like Western Union launching a stable coin on Solana or you know, all these these existing financial platforms, right? And they're like, oh, are they going to build an L1, their own L1? Do they, they want to build an L2? Like, you know, those are all good debates, but, um, you know, they all assume that you have to build something from scratch, right? Like th this idea was that, oh, you know, for something to become Web3, it has to be, you know, any, any existing web app has to be completely recreated as a smart contract, right? And and has to be, you know, redesigned from the ground up and be, you know, native smart contract on a smart contract platform like Ethereum. Um, and I think that's not really what what is uh what's gonna happen in the future, right? And they don't need to be completely recreated. You could have, you know, a web two financial app right now, um you know, plug into uh espresso and basically start to benefit from Web3 technology uh, by basically posting their data uh, to Espresso or a base layer like Espresso, open and source its execution logic, right? Post this data so it's 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 uh, transparent. Um, and then voila, right? Like there's still, I mean, it's not, you know, there might be purists who think, oh, well, that's, you know, there's certainly, you know, uh, not fully decentralized, right? And it's still, you know, a, a centralized entity, but you know the 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 you know there's just realities that we're that that we're facing and i think that uh um there are a lot of benefits in 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 uh that that vision that path uh and espresso really is you know designed to make that happen um and just to clarify again you know posted about this on on, on twitter on my personal account and stuff but I, you know, one of the reasons that espresso is unique and designed the way it is, is because we are designed specifically for speed and security. We're, we actually don't support custom logic. We don't support smart contracts, right? It's speed, all, we're, all Espresso needs to do to make these chains uh, be able to communicate is give them a way to basically finalize their confirmations as quickly as possible so that then all other chains and bridges and exchanges can trust those that finality and they can interact seamlessly in real time uh and we get there through our hotshot consensus um our consensus protocol that's custom designed for this don't handle you know execution you know just confirming transactions transaction ordering data availability voila okay move on